facts can only serve to worsen Pennsylvania's ongoing opioid crisis. My fellow Pennsylvanians, I have faith in you. I believe you care about your neighbors, your families, your friends, your co-workers, and your customers. I believe you know how to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Oh, not the police up there. I trust you to practice yeah, social distancing. The I, mean, I have faith that you will do whatever it takes any guys to avoid cross-contamination uh, at your places yeah. of business and employment. Huh? Just like the governor and secretary right of health are currently allowing at so many places. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I carry whatever. I, I'm free to do it. Your business yeah. is life-sustaining. I'm a disabled person. I don't we have, have, I don't have, I can't run. We have managed control from virtual press conferences from some undisclosed location in Harrisburg. We can work together to get through this. Yeah. It's a bunch of people jumping on this that want to create a... Yeah. It's at least a way to at least good to get everybody to wake up. Governor. Madam Secretary, you know what I mean? hear what your constituents oh, hey, are man, good saying luck. I'm today. Going back. Where are you going? I'm going back to my place. Oh, yeah. All right, All right. take it All easy. Right. God bless. And together, we're going to back to their livelihoods before the human toll of economic ruin and psychological despair outweighs the toll from the virus itself. God bless you all. God bless the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much, folks. some stories of folks that we've talked to. So in between speakers, I'll briefly do this at times to keep them in your memory. We heard from Jamie Jones, who owns a salon called Beauty and the Boutique in Elwood City, Pennsylvania. Anyone here from Elwood City? She is the only employee of her business, but she has lost 100% of her business as it was deemed non-essential. She does not plan to reopen at this time, but will do so as soon as she is safely able to. Our next speaker represents the 33rd Legislative District. He is a published author who has served in our nation's armed forces, rising to the rank of Colonel in the U.S. Army. Please help me warmly welcome Senator Doug Mastriano. <laughs> Thank you. 